Konnichiwa, Jamu Des, and welcome to Higari Online Class. For today's lesson, ay pag-aaralan natin ang lesson 13 ng ating grammar discussion. Are you ready? Dewa Hajime Marshall. Okay, so here's our first grammar pattern. Now, ga hoshi des. Okay, so it means hoshi means want. Okay, I want a noun. So this sentence pattern is used to express the speaker's desire to possess or have an object. It can also be used to ask what the listener wants. The object is marked with the particle noun. Okay? So, ginagamit ang sentence pattern na ito pag gusto mo ang express or sabihin na gusto mo ang isang bagay o gusto mo magkaroon niyan. Okay? At ginagamit din ito kung itatanong kung anong gusto niya. Okay? Kung anong gusto ng listener. Just like the example here, you wanna say, I want a car. Okay? Car is kuruma. Want is hushi. So, that would be Kuruma ga hoshi des. Okay, so remember, kung ano yung gusto mo, ipagmark natin siya as particle ga. Okay, again, kuruma ga hoshi des. Okay, next, another example is when you say, I want a new bag. Bag is kaban, new is atarashi, so that would be Atarashi kaban ga hoshi des. Atarashi kaban ga hoshi des. Gusto mo ng bagong bag. Okay, next is, how about in asking a question kung anong gusto ng listener mo. For example, what do you want for your birthday? Birthday is tanjobi. Tanjobi ni nani ga Hoshi desu ka? Tanjoubi ni nani ga hoshi desu ka? Okay, and he answered, I want blue shoes. I want blue shoes. Aoi kutsu ga hoshi desu. Aoi kutsu ga hoshi desu. So remember, our interrogative here is nani. Okay? We don't use none for what, but we use nani here. And we just be specific of what the things we like and you just add ga hoshi des. Okay? Another example here is paano mo naman sasabihin kung ayaw mo ng isang bagay. Okay? You don't want. So, for example here, he will say, I don't want a big car. So, our object here is big car. And our adjective here is don't want. So let's start from big car. That means, Oki kuruma. Oki kuruma ga hoshi kunai desu. Okay, so the same. Remember that to make the adjective in a negative, you just omit the I plus kunai desu. So the same here, you just add hoshi kunai desu. Again, Oki kuruma ga Hoshi konai desu. Okikuruma ga hoshi konai desu. I don't want a big car. Okay? Next up is the different form of... So next up is another form of verb. This is verb stem. Okay? It is a verb that the must is omitted. So tinatanggal natin si must sa mga verb. For example, in the word... Kai mas. Okay? Para makuha natin si verb stem, tatanggalin natin si mas. Si kai lang ang natitira. So, kai is the verb stem here. Okay? So, remember that to make, to get the verb stem, tatanggalin mo si mas. At yung natitira ang tatawagin mong verb stem. And we use this verb stem in our next sentence pattern, which is verb stem Tai des. Okay? Again, verb stem tai des. Okay. This sentence pattern expresses the speaker's desire to do something. Okay? So, when you say hushi, is yung mga bagay na gusto mo. 
Well, when you say verb stem tie, is yung mga bagay na gusto mong gawin. Okay? It is also used to us what the listeners want to do. Okay? Pwede din itong gamitin kung ano yung gustong gawin ng kausap mo. By this expression, as seen below, the particle ga can replace the particle o. Okay? So, in the next video, okay, in the next examples, we can see that you can replace the particle ga into particle o. Perf stem ta in flag as an e adjective. Okay? So, i-apply mo kung paano mo ninyo-negative si e sa verb stem ta. Okay? So, let's have an example here. Say, I want to buy a car. Gusto ko bumili ng car. So, yung want mo is not a car, but bumili yung gusto mong gawin. Okay? So, that would be kurumaga or o kay tay des. Kurumaga or o kay tay des. Okay? So, both of ga or o is applicable to this sentence pattern. Pwede mong gamitin si ga, pwede mong gamitin si o. Okay? So, o siya, which is replaceable kasi si kuruma yung object natin sa verb. Okay? That's why pwede mong gamitin si particle o. Okay? Okay, another example is, kung tatanungin mo naman si listener mo, kung ano yung gusto niya. Just like, here, he, she is asking, what do you want to do tomorrow? Anong gusto mong gawin bukas? Ashta na ni Oshitai desu ka? And then say, I want to watch movie. Gusto kong manood ng movie. So you will gonna say, Ego mitai desu. Ego mitai desu. Okay? So pwede mo lang gamitin si O for this one. Next! Okay, remember, naniyo. This is our interrogative. Naniyo shitai. Anong gusto mong gawin? Naniyo shitai desu ka? And you just gonna add the things that you do want to do and then this. Okay? Another. I bought car because I don't want to ride a train. Okay? I bought car because I don't want to ride a train. So, hindi niya gustong gawin si verb. Means negative. I don't want to ride the train. So, you will gonna say train is densha. Densha ni norita kunai. Okay? So, since, as I said, verb tai inflects e adjective. Kung anong paraan mo, kung paano mo ni negative, ang isang e adjective, ganun mo din ini negative si tai. So, noritai, you omit ai, you add kunai. That makes the sentence as, Den siya ni, norita kunai desu kara, kuruma o kaimashita. Again, Den siya ni, norita kunai desu kara, kuruma o kaimashita. Okay, next is, I want to go to Japan. Gusto ko pumunta sa Japan. That means, Nihon e ikitai des. Nihon e ikitai des. Okay, so as you can see, our particle here is e. So, the other particles cannot be replaced by ga. So, just like here, the direction kung saan mo ginagamit si particle e, which is from ikitai, kimas, and kairimas, hindi mo pwedeng gamitin si ga as a replacement. Okay? So, pwede, hindi pwedeng nihon ga ikitay des. No, that's wrong. But kung ano yung kung ano yung fixed particle ni ikimas, kimas and kairimas, which is particle e, eh, yun, yun, lang, yun lang ang ilalagay mo sa place na yun. Okay? Again, nihon e eh, Ikitai des. Nihon e ikitai des. Since yun pa rin yung papunta yung action mo, so that's why it's still particle. Okay? Remember that hoshi des or tai des cannot be used to describe the third person's desire. So, hindi mo siya pwede gamitin sa gusto. 
to ng ibang tao. For example, Sensei Wa, Asta, Yasumi Tiles. So, hindi mo pwede gamitin na na-opinion mo na parang or gusto ni third person na gawin ng isang bagay. Okay? So, that is remember that one. Another one is you can neither use koshi desu nor verb tai desu when you offer a cup of coffee or invite the listener to have a cup of coffee. So, hindi mo pwede gamitin si hoshi desu ka or si verb tai kung nag-o-offer ka ng something just like a coffee or a something food or drinks. Okay? Huh? Just like this is Kohi wa hoshi desu ka? No, it's wrong. But instead, you can use Kohi wa ikaga desu ka? Okay? So, it's more polite and it's the right thing to ask or to offer something to someone. Okay? Another, Kohi wo nometai desu ka? You can, okay, instead of using this sentence pattern, you can just use Kohi wo nomimasen ka? Okay, in your offering, you just can use ikaga or the verb masen ka to ask the person about, okay, to ask a person about something you offer, a food or drinks to someone. Okay, next sentence pattern is noun place eh? verb stem or noun ni ikimas, kairimas, and kimas. So this means that go to that place and to purpose mo si verb stem or si noun and then ikimas, kimas, and that one. Okay? So, the purpose of ikimas, kimas, and kairimas is expressed using this pattern. The purpose is marked with the particle ni. Okay? Kung ano yung purpose mo kung bakit ka pumunta sa isang lugar, imamark mo as a par particle ni. So, a noun used before ni is of the kind denoting an action. Okay? Kung si noun naman, nilalagay mo si ni, is the, yun yung dinidenote mo as the action. Okay? Just like an example here, she's asking, what are you going to Kobe for? What is your purpose in going to Kobe? Kobe, eh, nani o si ni ikimasu ka? Kobe, eh, Nani o shi ni ikimasu ka? I will buy a car in Kobe. Kobe e kuruma o kai ni ikimasu. Kobe e kuruma o kai ni ikimasu. Okay, as you can see, nani. Okay, so verb stem, since she must is to do. So that means we omit the must, you just she and then ni. Okay? With the same with the answer here, Kobe e kuruma o kai ni. Okay? So as you remember, this is from kai mas. We just omit the mas to make it verb stem. And then that means kai plus ni. Then ikimas. Kuruma o kai ni ikimas. Okay? That means yung purpose na pumunta ka ng Kobe. Yung purpose na pumunta. So that means na yung purpose na pupunta ka ng Kobe is bibili ka ng kuruma or yung car. Okay? Another example. Another example. Since it's day of tomorrow, what will you do? Okay? Since day of tomorrow, what will you do? Ashita yasumi desu kara nani o shimasu ka? Ashita, yasumi desu kara? Nani o shimasu ka? Won't you go shopping in the department store? Dipato e kaimono ni ikimasen ka? Dipato e kaimono ni ikimasen ka? So, our purpose here is kaimono. Okay? So, that's why it is particle ni. Okay? Kaimono is a noun. So, that's why wala tayong idinagdag. Wala din tayong kinuha. Dipato e kaimono ni ikimasen ka? So, yung pagpupunta niya ng department is the reason is for kaimono, shopping. Okay? So, that's why it is part, that's why it is marked as particle ni. Okay? Another one, I will go to the library to return the books because I've already read all of them. 
Again, I will go to the library to return the books because I've already read all of them. So let's read the sentence first. The reason you already read all of them. Mo zenbo yumi kara. And then pupunta ka ng library because to return the books. To shokan e. Okay. To shokan e. Hon o kaishi ni ikemas. Return is kaishimas. So you just omit the mas and you add the particle ni. That's why it becomes kaishi ni ikemas. Ibabalik mo ang libro kaya pupunta ka doon sa library. Okay? Again, mo zenbo yumemashita kara toshokan e hon o kaishi ni ikimas. Mo zenbo yumemashita kara toshokan e hon o kaishi ni ikimas. Okay, so remember our purpose of going to Toshokan or to the library is to return the books. Okay, another example. You will gonna say, I came here to see her, but she isn't here. Pumunta ako dito para makita siya pero wala siya. Koko e kanojo ni. Okay, kung sino yung imimit mo, still particle ni. Ay, ni, kimashita ga, imasen. Okay? Koko e, kanojo ni, ay, ni, kimashita ga, imasen. Okay, as you notice, there are two pa ni particle in our sentence. The purpose of this one, kanojo ni, is for our verb na ay mas. Okay? So, Kung sino yung kamit mo using this verb, kung sino yung imimit mo, siya yung particle ni natin. And the next particle ni is yung particle ni I must is the purpose. Okay? Ni for the purpose of kimas or kimashita. Okay? Klaro ba? Again, koko e kanonju ni I ni kimashita ga imasen. I came here to see her. I came here to see her, but she isn't here. Okay? So, note that you can also use nouns denoting events such as festival and concerts before ni. But in this case, the speaker's purpose is to see or enjoy the event. Okay? But aside that, pwede mo din gamitin si Particle ni for festival and concert as a purpose. Okay? For example, pupunta ka sa isang lugar kasi may concert. Pupunta ka ng Korea kasi manonood ka ng concert ng BTS. Just like that. Okay? Or pupunta ka ng Cebu dahil gusto mong manood ng Sinulog Festival. Okay? So just like here, let's go to Osaka for a concert. Osaka e Konsato ni ikimashu. Osaka e konsato ni ikimashu. So, oh, your purpose of going to Osaka is the concert. Okay, but here's another sentence pattern that you will gonna learn in today's lesson. This is na ni hairimas means enter or go inside okay hairimas means to enter or go inside pumasok another is norimas means to ride sumakay okay so remember our noun kung saan ka papasok that it would be our noun kung saan ka sasakay that would be our noun and whenever you are using these verbs kung saan ka papasok kung saan ka sasakay it's always particle ni Again, kung saan ka papasok, kung saan ka sasakay, it's always particle ni. Okay? Another one, noun o, demas, means exit or go outside. Urimas, get off or bababa. Okay? While on the other hand, when you use demas, kung saan ka lalabas, kung saan ka bababa, 
is always particle O. Okay? Again? Kung saan ka lalabas, kung saan ka bababa, it's always particle O. So, again, now ni hairimas, now ni norimas is always particle ni. Kung saan ka papasok, kung saan ka sasakay, particle ni. Kung saan ka lalabas at kung saan ka bababa, always particle o. Okay? So, the particle ni marks the goal when using with the verbs like hairimas and norimas. While the particle o marks the starting point or place when used with the verbs like demas and orimas. Okay, so that's why it is really particle ni and o. For example, sasabihin mo, okay, just like an example, he sasabihin mo, I don't want to enter that room. Okay, so yung lugar na dapat papasukan mo is the room. Okay, so we will mark that as particle ni. That makes the sentence as kono heyan ni hairita kunai des. Okay, since you don't say I don't want, want is the Thai form and don't is the negative. So that makes the sentence as hairita kunai des. Okay, so no heyan ni hairita kunai des. I don't want to enter that room. Okay, next is the norimas. Paano mo na sabihin? That norimas. It's my first time to ride an airplane with you. Hajimete anata to hikoki ni norimas. Okay? Hajimete is the first time. Hajimete anata to hikoki ni norimas. Kung saan ka sasakay sa airplane? Hikoki, that is our particle ni. Norimas. Okay? It's my first time to ride an airplane with you. Hajimete anata to hikoki ni. Norimas. Another one is, okay. So, how about? Okay, another one is when you get off or kung baba, kung saan ka bababa? As I said, it's always particle O. For example, Maria Chang got off the bus. So, saan siya bababa? Sa bus. So, that would mean, Maria Chang wa basu o orimashita. Maria sa Maria Chang wa basu o orimashita. Since bumaba siya sa bus, so that would be, the bus would be our particle O. Kasi doon siya bumaba. Okay, another one is lumaba. Sasabihin mo, the cat comes out in the box. Lumabas ang pusa sa box. Okay, pusan ka lalabas, it is always particle O. It is always particle O. Kung saan ka lalabas, it is always particle O. So that would say, neko wa hako o demashita. Neko wa hako o demashita. Okay? Okay, so that, so just remember kung saan ka papasok, kung saan ka sasakay, always particle ni. And kung saan ka lalabas, or kung saan ka bababa, always particle o. Okay? Next is, doko ka or nani ka. Doko ka means anywhere or somewhere, and nani ka means anything or something. So the particles e and o can be omitted. Okay, so kung ano yung particle na ginalamit natin for this normal interrogative, so since wala namang specifics, so you can omit the particle e and o. Just like the example here. It's nice to drink something. And you say, Nani ka no metai des. And you say, I agree. I want to drink beer. So des ne, Biro no metai des. Again, Nani ka no metai des ne, So des ne, Biro no metai des. Another example here, 
Ashta, doko ka? Ikimas ka? Are you going somewhere tomorrow? And he answered, Hi, Tokyo e ikimas. Yes, I will go to Tokyo. Okay? So when you use doko ka, e is kind of or you can need it. Okay? Next is go chumun. Okay? Go is a prefix added to some words to express respect. Okay? So go is just the same as the o. Oyasumi. O kohi wa ikaga desu ka? So just the same as go is it is used to express respect. So like Go chumon wa. Go chumon wa. Okay, but this is just, okay, this prefix is usually, or marinig mo lang ito, mostly ginagamit sa chumon, or chumon is order. What is your order, please? Okay, so tinatanong siya for the honorific expression, which is usually here on restaurants or different shops, okay? Mostly, but mostly in restaurants or yung mga mag order ka, okay? So, this is usually, or they put go for to express respect. Okay? And that's the end for our lesson 13. And I hope you learn a lot for the day, Minasan. Keep practicing the sentence pattern that we learned for this lesson and Gambat tayo ka